I think I had less than a month left and the machine kept jamming and I couldn't see what was wrong with it and then I kept printing it wrong I would send it in send it this print the first side the map would be fine print the second side it would be upside down and if I wasn't jamming the paper I was printing it wrong and this was about one o'clock in the morning and I thought oh my god I have less than a month and it's going to be shown and I will not have 87 plants and I will fail. I have failed my kuleana. And I looked at the book and I see my um, great grandmother's signature. And I had looked for her signature before and I had never found it. But this is the first time I see her, her name and I sit down and I see her. This is the problem. It's not about rushing. It's about being mindful and being here in the moment and being respectful. That whether I fail or not, I've really failed if I've if I haven't done that. My name is Bernice Akamine. I'm a mixed media artist, and so. For Honolulu Biennial, I am bringing all of my ancestors and many of the Hawaiians in my communities. So Kalo was created, I knew that it was going to be given away. It would be given to um, Hawaiian immersion schools and other educational institutions. And it was a way that I could connect the past with the future and the present. It would be something that could live on for generations, hopefully, and that we wouldn't forget. On the back of the leaves were each page of the Hui Aloha Aina anti-annexation petitions. So each page is represented in the piece. On the front of the leaves were the land divisions. So all of the ahupua'a from the land divisions make up the veins for the taro leaves. When I started Kalo, even before I started, when, you know, again, when it was in vision, I had always imagined that Kalo would follow the journey of the petitions so that it would go to every island where petitioners had signed. And then it would also go to San Francisco where they stopped and they celebrated Hawaiian Independence Day. And then from there, they go to Washington, D.C. and it is later presented to Congress in Washington, D.C. So I had envisioned that the piece would also go on this journey. I think that's one of the things I hope about my artwork is that it's very, it's a little more subtle and then it hits you on the head. Yeah. So and I think that's what I've been trying to do. It's like not just hit you on the head, but let you look at it first and then hit you on the head.